I'm Gianni Crawford here at the Detroit Regional Chamber Mackinac Policy Conference where educators talked about school reform. Reforming and restructuring were the words used for the innovative education session. A panel of experts included Robert Bob, Emergency Financial Manager of Detroit Public Schools, talked about their plans. Michael Flanagan, State Superintendent, said that schools are not measuring up to the standards they need in order to help kids succeed. He said schools need to change the way they teach. Some kids may need to learn online while others succeed in the classroom. Each and every one of our kids has gifts that we can help them reach their full potential. But the way we're going to have to do it is to redo our teacher prep institutions, to make sure that we have high expectations for our kids, to be in a position where we're going to have different ways to teach kids based on their learning styles. They're not all going to learn algebra if it's in a traditional classroom. One thing I can do in my role, I'm a constitutional officer, a state superintendent, is give seat time waivers, and we've done that a lot. Carol Goss president and CEO of the Skillman Foundation said they are focusing on developing leadership, expanding the community of schools, and recruiting the best teachers. They have developed a plan for schools to succeed. It's to enforce real accountability. And there are three things we should do with that, that someone needs to be accountable for our children's education. So we would create an independent citywide standards and accountability commission, and they would set high standards for all schools and release an annual report card on how schools are doing. We would help parents to become smarter shoppers and make more informed choices. And so providing parents with real information so that they can easily use this to decide where their children should go to school. Robert Bob said they have four distinct emergencies in Detroit, financial, overall academic, reading, and parental and community accountability. But we intend to propose a dramatic restructuring of the Detroit public schools. On the one hand, we're going to show the community what it takes to balance the budget and eliminate the structural and current operating deficit. And at the end of the day, we will show the community that by eliminating the budget deficit, removing the deficit, we will only be able to support approximately 20 to 28,000 students, period. Our budget will be based on a student population of 76,000 students, down from 83 or 80, approximately 84, 85,000 students this year. And the second thing we will be proposing is that uh, our educational reform for DPS uh, will be consistent with the flexibilities in the legislation uh, for the state recovery district. We have analyzed every school within our school district. I can tell you that I know a lot about the Detroit public schools, top to bottom, study it, live with it every day. Uh, but to move us from where we are today, we can cut the budget, we can slash the budget, we will balance this budget, but at the same time, we will show the community the consequences because the community needs to be informed. The experts here said they will not yield, they will make reforms work. And Flanagan's vision includes giving every child in Michigan the opportunity for a quality education. This is our new granddaughter. But here's the deal, Ella Grace, if, if there's a school in this state that we don't want Ella Grace to go to, no kid is going to that school. I'm Gianni Crawford, reporting for Youth Neighborhood News in collaboration with Michigan's Children, where we bring you the younger side of the news.